Hello everybody and welcome back to Planetorama, a little series within the series of series of a play bunch big of series that I have on my channel right now. Um, so um, welcome back to Planet Coaster and welcome back to the little scenario. Um, the day you are watching this video is potentially also the day um, that Planet Coaster has a w uh, announced, or Frontier has announced, who won in the competition and I hope to be within at least the top 10. I have no idea if I am, so honestly speaking at the moment I have no idea um, but just to mention this episode will go live um, or actually it will go live before the live stream so here's a big see that's that's pretty good this one will be up tomorrow evening so it means that in a in an hour time there will be the live stream of Planet Coast uh, and um, yeah there will be hopefully announced that I'm within the top 10 I hope at least. Anyhow, uh, you still see the progress, it will go on for a few more episodes, uh, episodes in the next couple of days. And um, I am already starting to prepare for my absence. So in this episode I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I'm doing, obviously as always. But um, also I am talking about a bit of things regarding this channel already. Because as I said I'm setting up a few things while I'm away. So I am, I am away for yeah, nearly four four weeks, so to say. Um, I'm not really away for four weeks, but I will quit YouTube stuff and so on for four weeks total. Um, so I, I will try to prepare as much as possible so that I have a bit of free time when I'm back as well to just um, come back and see what happens, everything. Um, and, and just, you know, chill down a bit, come, come <laughs> just calm down from everything that has been happening because just the marriage and honeymoon and stuff is, is not that, you know, it's, it's a great time, but it's, I think also there's a lot of things that you have to deal with in your mind and just get used with the situation and all this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, not too much speaking about this because I'm also preparing a little bit of that as a special, um, but I am really wanting to go back to what this channel is about and I feel like um, I, I talked about this a bit already last last year I guess and I also talked about this recently in some discords and stuff I have the feeling at the moment that the interaction on my channel is pretty much only down to a few topics regarding Planet Coaster and uh, this is maybe also because you know my commentaries and all this kind of stuff is very much streamlined and not controversial at all. There is nothing for you guys to talk about. There is, let's let's call it a whole bunch of emptiness, um, which is self-created in a way because I'm only talking about what I do and there is not too much for you guys to talk about in the comments down below. So I, f I really feel like that the interaction doesn't necessarily need to be improved, it has to be created. Um, because at the moment, I'm, I'm completely honest with you, I had this talk already in one of the episodes about uh, Clean Canyon, which is by the way paused at the moment. It will be continued when I'm back from Honeymoon and I have some more time to finally do streaming again. It will be continued. I'm really, I'm desperate to play again in that park because I love it, but at the moment there's just no time to do so, just as a quick info about this one. But I really feel like um, the whole notion about this channel for me is, is playing the game and having fun with the game or with games in general, um, but much more important is the interaction. I, I just love the comments. So for example, if I if I refer to last episode where we talked about stress, I, I really love to hear that, for example, Kinanite has some problems actually facing people uh, and making himself up a little bit too much about what they may think. And honestly, for me, this is a really interesting topic uh, to talk about because uh, the, the fear of actually um, being seen as someone different than you would actually expect yourself to be is something really uncomfortable and I can really understand this and you know I really I love to see comments like that because they, they actually help me um, get more in touch with the people watching my videos because still as I said it's, it's quite impressive having over 12,000 people um, sub to this channel and let's say at least five six hundred watching my videos on a regular basis um, it's a crazy big amount of people uh, or a big number of people watching my videos so I just want to get to know you a bit more in person so to say if that's even possible in the kind of anonymity of the internet but all of a sudden I, I have the feeling that there is no not that 
you know, the motivation to make videos is not the motivation to make videos in itself by making videos. The motivation to make videos is basically done or created by you guys watching my videos. And uh, for all of people, for all people who are saying something else, they're just pretty much lying because the motivation comes naturally by playing the game. That's true, but um, getting an answer to the fact that you're uploading this publicly is really important to create a feeling and create a um, kind of reception um, of, of what you're doing and also let me to, to let someone know what he or she could do better and stuff is really important um, and it it also helps improving the channel and at the moment I have the feeling and I have to say this completely honest to you the channel is not moving at all the channel is dying my, my channel is pretty much dying I'm making videos I'm I'm desperate to get into touch with you guys but there's just no answer I mean many of you already commented that there is no need to comment because there is nothing you can talk about I can somewhat relate to it but I used to watch a lot of different videos, for example, and just naming one is, for example, Variable Gaming, who is also in my Discord, and I would love he, he would actually participate a bit more. I saw him commenting a few times, and I really enjoy watching his videos, to be honest. Um, I mean, yeah, sometimes he may over-exaggerate a bit um, in his videos, but that's totally fine. It's kind of the, the freedom of artists, I should say. And I think he does a pretty awesome job in, in getting people involved. And if I look at his videos, he's like, you know, he's got uh, a little bit more than uh, 4,000 people sub to his channel, I guess, or 5,000 or whatsoever. I'm not quite sure exactly how many people. Uh, but he has a constant comment rate over 90 comments a video. And honestly, that's impressive. That's just seriously impressive. Um, and even though I don't share really what they are always talking about, which is not the, you know, that's not the point. It's it's not really that important, to be honest. Um, as long as there is a good conversation going on and there is a point for those people commenting on those videos, it's totally fine. What you're talking about doesn't really matter. Um, so, as a matter of fact, I, I just think that um, we need some, some more interaction. How on earth I can make you guys comment more. I don't want to force you to do anything. So there has to be something more engaging for you guys. And I I do have some ideas. I can't come up with them right now because as I said I'm in the on the verge of of quitting this stuff now for four or five weeks or whatsoever. And I'm just preparing a few videos just to make sure that there is a little bit of content going on. And you know not because I feel it's a must because I, f I just want to. I just want to come back and look at it and want to see what's happening. Um, and there will be and I can talk about that already I have prepared the whole fortress Camelot thing so um, the medieval area will be finished I am already finished just haven't um, done the videos right now it will be the start of the city Skylands series I can also confirm that because I have already enough episodes um, on my hard drive recorded that will be going online as well um, and then there will surely be something else which I can't really talk about right now um, because I'm not sure if we are able to well, if I am able to be ready with it in time so this is also something different so that maybe there are three videos a week maybe two I don't know don't want to over promise anything but yeah that could be a thing um, and I'm just I'm just curious to see how this turns out in the end obviously I can't react to anything so these videos will be pre-recorded um, as it is usual and you guys do know it from other youtubers I guess but yeah in a way we have to find something and guys if you have any suggestion for me to make it more interesting for you to uh, participate is that's the word I wanted to mention um, or wanted to say um, please let me know in the comments down below and you know everything is helpful even if you have critique just put it there if you have questions put it there if there is something in the video you want to know more about just ask it I'm I'm really I'm really looking forward to get in touch with you even more and um, I I think we can really deliver a lot better content on the on the on this channel and I'm, I'm really talking of we because it, a channel, a public channel, is nothing without the viewers. And this is not only down to the fact that you're watching my videos, which essentially makes them rank higher, which essentially makes them appear in your sub feed and what's or just in your feed and making new people sub and whatever. It's also important to have you participate. And sometimes I'm really like, I have like three or four thousand views on a, on a video and I have like 
10 comments and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, like seriously, I'm, I'm just sitting there and like, how is this even possible? And I see videos of, of other people having 600, 700, 900 uh, views and having 20 to 30 comments. So, I, you know, I, I don't want to be controversial in every video just to make you comment. That's not what I'm going for. And I also don't want to force you answer some weird questions in every video because it's it's n not leading to a to a good point. You know, I could up make up a question every video, and I try to come up with 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 questions that make sense, right? Um, that's something I can really agree to and agree on doing. But there's I don't want to go in and you know just search for something just to make you comment something. That's that's not the way we want to go. We have to do something else which is really more um, community-based, which, which is more natural, which comes out of the videos. So for example, why don't we talk about, uh, I don't know, space stations in general, because this planetorama is basically a space station in the future. So how could a space station look like? For, for example, I'm, ju I'm just giving you an example. I'm always wondering why there is no moon station. Like, like seriously, I have no idea why there is no moon station yet. There would be, you know, there, were, there would be so many possibilities and so many advantages of having a, a moon station. And no, we just have the ISS and um, no moon station. So I'm, I'm a bit confused why there is no moon, moon station. And see, that could be a topic for you guys to jump down below in the comments and just give me some infos. Maybe you guys know why it is. Maybe there are some, some issues that prevent f from having, you know, a moon station for whatever reason I don't know uh, but that could be a thing but anyhow I, I don't as I said I don't want to force you into any topic this was just an example of how a um, how a, a conversation could start off uh, the content I'm giving you but yeah let's let's just for the last minute and then I'm just leaving you low, alone with a little bit of music um, let's just talk about what I'm doing so this is essentially the the little crazy thing I, I made about this whole um, planetorama. This is the peer section, actually the, the peer section of the whole thing. The planetorama is like the little planet on which the little theme park is built on. But this very thing over here is actually the the, the space pier, I should say. It's like the, the pleasure space pier, whatever. Um, <laughs> so that could be that could be actually a good description of what I'm doing there. And I, I think it, it turned out to be very nicely looking. I made all these engines below that one so that they keep them floating next to the island. And um, I will actually make this look like a little pier with some flowers, some vintage assets. And then again, I'm going to build a fence around which um, kind of is also made with some, some glass assets and stuff uh, just to make sure that this looks a bit more futuristic, but retro futuristic, if that makes any sense. Um, and so that's what I came up with. But anyhow, that's it about this episode. As always, guys, if you enjoyed that one, give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and do you, want to, you want to be a part of this community talking about all kind of stuff in all kind of different uh, creative games, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.